Shibuzuka! It's the Goonies! Everyone's favorite group of 80s misfits. If you don't know who the Goonies are, well you should be smacked with a flounder. That's just a fact. So now that that's taken care of, The Goonies was an adventure film released in 1985, directed by Richard Donner. Hi. You know, the guy who directed other kid-friendly flicks, such as The Omen. Look at me, Damien. In Lethal Weapon. Do you really want to jump? Do you want to? The film followed a group of kids who lived in the Goondocks, a seaside community in Oregon. These little rascals, led by Mikey, find themselves chasing down a pirate's treasure on the eve of their homes being destroyed. Along the way, they get tangled up with the notorious Fratelli family. The kids escape. They get out of there. They're the Goonies after all. It's an adventure. And most important, who can forget this guy? Listen, if you haven't seen The Goon Squad, then it's time to watch it. So grab your popcorn and your best get stepping. Now, there has been talk for years of a Goonies sequel called The Groonies. What the f is that? Hey, forget The Groonies. The only true sequel was this 8 bit game. Released in 1987. So The Goonies 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. It's a blast to play. I even keep it up here on the mantle. When I got my original NES for my birthday this year, I went out right away and bought a copy of this game. I had to play it on the original hardware. And I even got this sweet ass floor model TV right here to replicate those good times. From that silent opening title scroll to that killer chiptune version of Cindy Lopper's. It's good enough. I was hooked to this game. The gameplay is a mix of action platformer and a puzzle game. The action platformer is comprised of a large overworld map made up of the Fratelli's rundown hideout, its basement, and the caves beneath it. The large cave serves as a main hub Think Mario 64's castle, connecting to things like the hideout, a large destroyed bridge, and water, ice, and fire caverns. And you use these warp zones, and the warp zones help you transport between each section. Mikey is equipped with a yo-yo to begin with. This kid's crazy, man! And he'll find more weapons, such as the slingshot, which comes with a limited 40 shots that allow long distance takedowns, and later a boomerang, which he steals from this pissed off Eskimo, cause look at this guy, he must have peed in his tea, he ends up attacking you once you leave the freaking door! And the uh, boomerang can be shot in every direction, except never above you. Much like The Legend of Zelda, you get some secondary firepower in the form of a flare or a bomb box. Kids, what you don't know is back in the day, they gave us EXPLOSIVES! Like crazy in the 80s. And we blew up shit. Yeah, yeah we did. Remember that cat? <coughs> the flares are useful, especially later in the game for instant kills on harder enemies. You going down? Whereas the bombs can be used to expose hidden doors in the landscape. But honestly, it's a bomb. Should it be making holes in everything? So you have to push up and B to use these weapons. Hence why you can't shoot your boomerang straight up. See old Mikey Mix over there? He's able to upgrade his footwear. So you can get the speed shoes which allow you to run faster and also you can get the jump shoes that allow you to leap large distances. Like this one here. If you pause the game you are taken to a super useful menu screen that shows a ton of information. So you start with the cursor and it allows you to choose your main weapon. And also your secondary weapon. And your shoe style. The upper right shows all the items you've collected throughout the map. And see this large pirate map? You can also flip it over to view your location. But I got a question. Why does the back of this map look like the uh, captured Native American and Colonel Custard from Custard's Revenge? It's kind of weird, Konami. 
and of course all the Goonies you have saved can be found in the bottom left. So where do we find the Goon Scataloons? Well, they're hidden in the second portion of the gameplay. The Puzzle Rooms. Now the Puzzle Rooms play like a first person game. Think Shadowgate or Deja Vu. Two games I've never played but needed to reference for this review. The Puzzle Rooms, they hold all the goodies, information, and the Goonies that have been kidnapped. But what is this? They look nothing like their movie counterparts. What the f is this? Honestly, who am I looking at? Is this Mouth? Is this Steph? Is that Data? That's Data. But is this Data? I guess I must be saving Andy because she's mentioned something about Brand. That's all this bitch ever talks about. But wait a second, she kissed me. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm the main Mac. Brand got nothing on this. Oh, oh, oh. My bad, Brand. But you gotta look at the way the developers set up these rooms. I mean, uh, come on. Let's break it down like this. So you go into the first room, there's nothing there. Except for a hammer on the floor. So I pick up the hammer. So I gotta leave the room. Can't get out of the room. What am I gonna do? Ooh, I back out of the room. So I go to the next room. What's that on the floor? Some keys. I'll grab those. So I grab the keys. Hey, look, a door. Go through the door. I can use the keys? This is crazy. So I use the keys. It says something. What about that hole in the ceiling? Does that mean I can make holes with the hammer? Wait a second, I can't get up there. Oh, I must have need to get a ladder. Yeah, that makes sense, a ladder. And so on and so forth. The only problem I have with these vaults in these rooms is they look like sardine cans. I mean, come on, does that not look like I just opened a sardine can? Seriously, the game even continues to teach you new mechanics even up to the very end. Where do they decide to f with you? Yeah, I said it, they did. See that door right there? Yeah, 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 that's way later in the game. And guess what? There's nothing in there. But oh look, if I go beneath and I ride on the little Kit Kat bar across the thing and I push up, there's a hidden door. And look, it's Konami Man. That's right, everyone's favorite mascot, Konami Man. You don't know who he is either. Konami Man is a mascot in Japan who's in this game and he refills your energy. But when I was a kid, I always thought this was Sloth. I mean, in the movie, he wears a Superman and he has long ears and look at this guy. That could be an 8-bit Sloth. Why didn't they change that? And you got the old man, you got the old lady, you got the fish man, you got whoever this is. We got a stupid freaking mermaid, but, but Sloth isn't in this game. Look like a level kind to me. It's so frustrating, I could punch a wall. Oh, wait a second. Punch that wall. What did I just get? As a bomb box or a flare box, or I could get some keys. My violence knows no end. Give me that hammer. Look, it opens up hidden doors, saves, and makes holes in the floor and ceiling. The glasses, which these old bags never get tired of talking about, even much later in the game when I already have them, think of them like some sort of X ray vision. <laughs> yes, Mio. Yes. No, no, not like that. Dark rooms require a candle to light up the situation. But how do you get this candle? Oh wait, that's my favorite part of this game. <laughs> See this crusty old bitty bitch over here? Oh yeah, she's giving me some guff. No one talks to Mikey that way. Slam! Oh yeah, bam! So wait, wait a second. The game actually endorses elder abuse? Oh yeah. Oh, I, so I guess uh, Ethel here phoned up Louise down the way and told her what happened because when I show up at this Crypt Keeper's house, oh yeah, she gives me this helmet. Don't matter. I'll smack her around too. I'll smack them all around. I'm punching everyone in here. Oh, 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 oh. Konami man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I, I guess I punched the wrong guy because he's not going to refill my energy anymore. And you know what I really dig in this game? Oh yeah, the bad guy. And look how they kind of just poof into existence, like it's a magic trick every time. Ta -da. And by the way, these water sections, they are terrifying. And look at Mikey, what kind of American horror story bullshit is this? Also, how did the Fratellis hide a goonie under the water? I mean, I get the video game logic, but come on! So the enemies will also drop items from kills, such as hearts, keys, bombs, flares, and the occasional slingshot. It's rare, but it can happen. There is no denying you'll have to grind to get some of these items, especially if you lose all three lives. Look at this game over screen. 
She's having a stroke, isn't she? She's having a stroke. The game doesn't start you over from the beginning, but instead wipes out your entire weapon's inventory. So grinding for keys is a huge pain in the ass. And I want to mention, underwater is the only clear look you ever get to the hearts that the enemies drop. For some reason in my head, they always look like axes on the main stage to me. Here's Johnny! Oh, and on the subject of weird looking enemies, why do the scorpions look like they have huge Mega Man style eyebrows? I mean, I know these are supposed to be claws, but they look like Mega Brows to me. I'm not gonna lie, I've been playing this game for years, and I could always get to about the halfway point where I needed the scuba gear and give up as I can never find it. It's right here, by the way. And also, we got the whole Fratelli family. We got Mama, we got Jake, we got Francis, and Cousin Pipsqueak. He not in the movie. But you're probably gonna need a guide to finish this game, but it's worth your time. If you have not checked it out, it is a Nintendo classic. It's not on the Nintendo Classic, but it is a Nintendo Classic, so you've gotta, you've got, you've gotta play it. So, at the end of the day, I have to say that Goonies 2 is one of my favorite Nintendo games. Seriously, though, you need to try this game. This game is a blast. Especially if you're into that Metroidvania style of gaming, you've gotta give it a go. Also, go watch the movie! Do it! Do it.